Mr. Sundram, just to get your thoughts uh, on the implications of this. Now, we've already seen as far as the telecom side is concerned, the government did subsequently come out with a policy, said we are only going to go the auction way. But it is currently under fire, uh, you know, whether it's from the CAG, etc., on the broader principle of uh, because you didn't auction, you lost X, Y, Z. Doesn't this verdict at least put some kind of a lid on the principal issue? I'm not getting into the issue of what eventually it might find in terms of wrongdoing, specific wrongdoings, but on the principle, does this not, as far as, say, mining is concerned or coal is concerned, the policy followed, therefore, is not something which uh, the manner in which the government's been accused of doing it, that, that at least gets it off the hook? Well, there's, uh, according to me, uh, no, not any doubt in the fact that the courts would always interfere if the manner of doing something is wrong. There is no doubt in that, and I think that's just a reiteration of the law as we've always understood it. The issue is really this, that in the 2G case, the courts, A, struck down the licenses there, inter alia on the ground, that the 2G uh, licenses being issued in a manner other than by public auction was incorrect. And the second was to go further and also make an observation as to the possibility of auction being the only manner of distribution of natural resources. So far as the second issue is concerned, this court has, uh, this judgment in the presidential reference has certainly put a lid on the issue that it cannot be said that auction is the only ma method. And in a case-by-case -case basis, we'll have to really look into seeing whether it is right or wrong in a purely constitutional and legal framework and not from an economic or wisdom framework. So far as the 2G case is concerned, what the court has said is that they are not going into the question as far as spectrum is concerned, whether auction is the manner or not in order to dispose of the spectrum. They're saying so far as that is concerned, the 2G case has decided the matter and the court is not going into the correctness or otherwise of the 2G case. Because so far as the 2G case is concerned, uh, there were applications for review, there are curative writ petitions, those will take their own course. But so far as the presidential reference is concerned, the court has made very clear that qua spectrum, the 2G case has decided that auction is the method. And in this presidential reference, there are question as to whether the 2G, being, the 2G case decision that spectrum is, the, uh, is to be disposed only through public auction is correct or not, is not being gone into. But as a general proposition as to whether public auction is the sine qua non of disposal, the court has said no. The court has said it's a matter for this policy makers to decide, for the executive to decide. Court's role is to see the constitutional uh, safeguards and to see whether it is constitutionally and legally valid. And that is that. Mr. Sundaram, one of so, the... As far as your question of putting a lid, so far as your question of putting a lid on anything is concerned, I think it really means that in every single case, in every ca single case which is questioned, the court will have to see whether in that case the uh, government policy was constitutional, whether the government policy did not offend Article 14, as has been laid down by the Supreme Court, as to be more prohibitive in nature to prevent any inequality and not to mandate that only a particular means should be adopted. So the other landmark uh, bit about this entire presidential reference was that perhaps for the first time the Supreme Court actually asked corporate India, the stakeholders, to come and present their case as well. You did represent uh, many of them. How would you see this verdict from a India Inc.'s point of view, from corporate India's point of view? Because that's really where it's hurt a lot, isn't it? Some of the orders. Uh, we've seen some orders which have uh, led to, and of course the jury's still out, on thousands of crores of investments having been stuck. In that backdrop, from an India Inc. point of view, should it heave a sigh of relief post this verdict? I, I certainly think yes, because there's a great deal of certainty which has now come in, as against a certain bit of uh, uncertainty was, which was prevailing. It is now very clear that so far as the government policy is concerned, it, it does not have to mandate that it is only public auction. Depending on different statutes, there are various statutes like the uh, Mines and Mineral Development Act, for example, which provide for a first-come, first-served basis. And today, there was some uncertainty as to what would be the effect anymore of the, the judgments today on those statutes. Now, all that has been put to rest, and it is very clear 
that so far as policy making is concerned, the government can come out with a policy and it will not be interfered with unless it is per se arbitrary or there are malafides in its implementation. And I think that brings about a certainty which so far as India Inc. is concerned, there should be a great deal of uh, relief about.